Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is episode 5. Uh, it's a little different than what I normally do. Normally I am doing all ration reviews, uh, but as you can see I haven't posted in two weeks because I had my wisdom teeth removed, um, as many of you already know. So I was unable to post. I thought after a week I would be able to, you know, try to eat some rations, try to review some, um, but from the healing I just was not able to do it. So I've had about two weeks of not being able to review anything. In that meantime, I actually started talking to my dad and I got into um, backpacking basically. So I've always wanted to do this. I really wanted to do this last year and it just never happened. Um, but this year uh, I was talking to my dad and I was like, you know what? I, he actually told me about Second Chance uh, Hiker, which is a uh, YouTuber, if you don't follow him, I suggest that you go do. He is um, this really cool dude. Uh, his trail name is Second Chance. Um, he chose to hike the PCT without ever having any experience uh, with backpacking, hiking. Um, he was a larger dude, and basically it, this is his second chance at life, hence his uh, hiker name. Um, he, I think he started off close to 300 pounds and he's already lost a ton of weight and I think he's about a month in. So I've been watching his videos and when I was watching his videos, uh, he's the first ever YouTuber that I watched that did this kind of stuff and I was like, wow, that looks really cool. Uh, I've always wanted to get into it, but just watching someone do it, it was amazing. So just like all YouTube channels, all YouTube videos, they lead you down a rabbit hole. Um, so I, from there, I went to um, many other YouTubers where they were, you know, hiking, doing the CDT, the AT, um, the PCT. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm 32 this year. There is no time like the present. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Like I said at the beginning, this is not a review of food. Um, I'm still going to continue to do that. I think I'm going to scale it back a little bit instead of doing reviews two times a week. It will probably be around uh, around two times a month. So every two weeks I'll do a review of food. Um, and in the meantime, I'll do uh, gear reviews, um, backpacking, camping, hiking type stuff. Uh, so this video, I wanted to do some gear that I got. I recently, I think I have all my gear, except for my shirt that I'm going to purchase, um, which I just signed up for the REI uh, membership program, and it was $20, but what they did is they gave me a $20 gift card uh, to be able to use next time I go in, so basically it was free. Um, and they have their REI membership garage sale coming on the 16th, which is next weekend, so I'm going to take that and uh, hopefully find like a really good um, shirt to hike in. So, my first ever backpack, I did, um, my dad actually purchased, um, helped me purchase it. It was a Magellan. I bought that at Academy Sports, um, and at the time, I didn't know anything about torso length and how it is very important to find a pack that fits you. Um, I loved the bag. It just was too big for me. And if you follow my Instagram, you'll, you'll have seen a picture of it on there. Um, so we actually took it back today and went to REI. I got sized and I fell in love with this bag. Um, it's the Osprey um, Kestrel 48. Uh, so it's a 48 liter and I just loved everything from the looks to the color to the fit. I put it on. I tried two bags. I can't remember the other bag that I tried on, but the other bag was uh, approaching $300. So this one um, obviously was less, so I went ahead and got this one, but it just, it felt comfortable. I, I walked around the store, uh, with it on, I looked at other things, and I just really liked it. So, it does come with, um, the rain cover, which is down here. Um, I just liked how it fits. Found out I was a small in backpack size, and I think the bag that I got, the pack that I got last time was large. So, it just even though it had an adjustable torso, it just did not fit me. So I went ahead and got this one. So we're going to actually try it out. My um, first trip uh, ever going backpacking is going to be on the 22nd of this month and we are going to Roan Mountain. Um, it is, I think it's the Roan Highlands. It's a, it borders North Carolina, Tennessee, and we're gonna hike about seven, eight miles in. Um, and I know that sounds probably crazy to some of you for my first time, but I have my dad with me and my wife is going with me as well. So I think I'll be able to do it. Um, we'll camp 
and hike back out the next day. So I'm really excited to use this bag. Like I said, I loved how it fit. When I put this on, um, it literally felt like it was hugging my body. Uh, and I've heard other people talk about Ospreys, how they kind of hug you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my gear and then I'm going to load it all up and then I'll put my pack on to show you, you know, what it looks like. So this is my new bag that I am absolutely in love with. The Osprey, I should probably remember as what it's called, the Osprey Kestrel 48. So that's that. Um, the next thing I got was, uh, oh, real quick lights on me. Um, my dad has bequeathed this um, neck knife. It is a CRKT, I should probably learn the name of it. I mean, I just got it today. Uh, it's a minimalist. Um, it's super cute if you're into cute knives, um, which you probably aren't into cute knives like me, but I just love this. It's super small. Um, it does come with a sheath to wear around my neck, uh, which I really like. If I can get it back in here the way it came out. Um, it has the, I don't know if you can see it, but some paracord at the bottom. Uh, my dad said he's going to get me a different type of, uh, like a breakaway chain, just in case if it ever snagged on something, it would be able to pop right off. Um, but in the meantime, I do have um, it on a black cord on my neck. So that's that. And so my dad gave me this. So thank you, Pops. Um, I got these as well, some hiking pants. I didn't have anything besides jeans to hike in. And I actually got these on clearance at REI. They are the... Uh, Cool, uh, cool brands, uh, K Uber Cool, K U H L Stretch. Um, they do roll up as well, so I can, if I'm having to wade through water, I can roll my pants up, so that way I don't have to worry about uh, wet bottoms on my pants. They have plenty of uh, pockets along the sides um, if I need to carry different things, which I'm sure that I will. So I went ahead and got these. They were, like I said, they were on clearance, and so I couldn't beat the price. So I went ahead. I got them and um, they're really, really light. So I feel like, you know, these will be really good for, you know, um, when I'm with my dad and I'm going, you know, longer treks than just say hiking for the day. So got this. Um, I actually got two sleeping pads. Um, I got a Thermarest. This is the Thermarest Soul, Z Light Soul. Uh, it is a um, small one. Let's see. Pretty sure I just realized uh, that this is a small. I'm pretty sure I ordered the normal size, so I will have to contact them on that. Um, but it is a Thermarest, and this might even fit me. I'm not too sure. Um, I am only 62 inches, so. But it's really, really, really light. I think the weight on this is. Let's see. Um, it is a closed cell, closed uh, cell uh, mattress. It weighs 10 ounces. Um, so when I say this is super light and it does have an R value of 2.6. So I do have this for myself and then for my wife, um, she likes to be way more comfier than I. I got her this actually off of Amazon. It's the Outdoorsman um, Lab. So this is uh, very small. If I'm using my hand as a reference, my hand is about six inches. I know, small hand, I'm a small person, I'm only like five foot two. But in reference to my hands, that's how big this is rolled up. And I actually have unrolled this. I have rolled it out and laid on it, and it is super comfortable. Um, even though I bought it off Amazon, I went off the Amazon reviews. And this had great Amazon reviews. I think it was like 1,700 reviews, and it had like four and a half out of five stars. Just great reviews across the board. So I was like, for $40, this is a good deal. So if my wife's not going with me, I'm going to carry this with me simply because it is so light and what I'll do is I'll use this and this at the same time. So not only will it keep me warm, but there uh, will just be extra cushion. So not only will I be comfortable, but I will be warm with both of these. Um, and I do have two trekking poles. Um, I did order these off Amazon. Some of this stuff is not name brands like what some people use. Um, I did get a couple things name brands, but some of the stuff I just went off of Amazon reviews. Like I said, this is my first time getting into backpacking and across the board, I saw everybody say, don't buy the most expensive stuff when it's your first time because you don't know what you're going to like uh, and you don't know if it's going to work for you. Um, so I did buy these off Amazon. They were $20 for two of them. Uh, they are the BAFX products, Freedom of Walking. 
Um, I've already tried it out. They're uh, really good once they're tightened up and everything. Um, I got two of them, one for me, one for my wife, and if she doesn't come with me, then I have two to help me balance if I have to walk across a log. Uh, and they're light enough to where if I don't need them, they'll go in my pack. Um, and I also got them dual purpose as well because I did purchase a tent. It is a freestanding tent. It is meant for two people, so it weighs a little bit more. It's around like four pounds and like five ounces, I think. Um, but I do plan on purchasing a backcountry um, tent that requires tent uh, poles. Uh, I'm sorry, hiking sticks. So uh, that would be like a one person meant just for me. If I'm going, it weighs two pounds and two ounces, if I'm not mistaken, that particular tent. And it's like $50 off of Amazon and great reviews. These also had great reviews as well. So went ahead and purchased these. Um, real quick as well, because this is already turning into a long video and I'm not even halfway through. I went ahead and purchased one for myself, uh, one for my wife. I did get two different ones because I didn't know which would um, be better. Frog togs. I saw, the first time I saw frog togs, I was watching um, YouTube, the Homemade Wonderlust channel by, uh, her hiker name is Dixie. I have watched all of her CDT, PCT, and I'm halfway through her AT trail videos amongst all her other videos. It's just such great stuff. So she talked about frog togs. Um, on there and I looked on Amazon. I think I got this for like $16 or $17 and it's um, It's basically rain gear. It's not the most fashionable when it's on you, but it will keep you dry This one does come with a hood that you can cinch up um, It does zip up as well as uh, snap up and it does have zip up pockets on it as well. I got uh, another lighter one for my wife um if, if she were to need it as well. Uh, but it, hers is like um, a, a much lighter, not as heavy duty version. But I went ahead and obviously if we need to switch flip flop, we can do that. But I went ahead and got the Frog Talks jacket. I did not get the Frog Talks pants. Everyone said the same exact thing I'm on the reviews that they are baggy and they're probably not the best to hike in. Um, but of course, if it's raining, you're gonna want anything to protect you. Hopefully these pants will do me good. They are quick drying if they do uh, get wet. So got my frog togs just in case it rains. And if I need to use a lighter one, if there's like, if I go for like a couple days and there's no chance of rain, I'll probably just take my wife's that is much lighter uh, than this one. So it's a little bit thinner and it's not as heavy duty. Um, I did, my dad actually got me this uh, footprint tarp. Uh, he got it free actually at the, um, some tool store. I cannot remember the name of it, but he got, he gets these coupons and they're for free tarps. And it's really lightweight. It weighs, it's a, just a five foot by seven foot um, uh, tarp basically. So it's just light duty, weather resistant. So just something I can fold up small and use it as a footprint for my tent. Which, speaking of my tent, um, this, it's not a name brand, but I went ahead and got it because it had really good reviews on Amazon. Water resistant. Um, it weighs like four, like I said, 4.5, I think, uh, pounds. So it is heavier, but for two people, uh, it, it will be worth it. My wife will also have a sm much smaller pack, probably more like a day pack with just our food uh, in it, as well as um, probably her sleeping bag in it. So I'm able to have... Uh, you know, freed up some of my space in my bag, put in hers, so I'm able to, you know, carry a, a larger, a little bit heavier than just a regular backpacking tent. And this is a, it's called a Weenus, W-E-A-N-A-S. It's a sport and outdoor recreational tent. I've already popped it up. Um, I really like it. It is freestanding. It does, it's a, uh, it does have a rain fly over it. Everyone said the same thing. That was really good, and it was waterproof. So, uh, I will be unfolding this when I pack it in my tent. It does come with uh, aluminum stakes as well as small tent poles that fold up to about this big. So I'll just be able to stick those on the side of my pack. Um, and I saw a lot of people uh, wear these while they're hiking. Um, I got a pair of darn tough socks. Uh, when I first was hearing people saying like they wore darn tough, I was like, okay, are they just saying like, oh, these are darn tough or what do they mean by darn tough? And literally, they are a brand of um, very comfortable and very warm socks called Darn Tough. They do guarantee them for life. So if you put a hole in them while you're hiking or whatever, 
no matter how long you have them, I believe that they've replaced them for free, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, it says, if, if our socks aren't the most comfortable, durable, and best fitting socks you've ever worn, return them for another pair, no strings attached, for life. So, we shall see how these go. This, moving on to my feet, um, I did settle on a, a lesser expensive brand of hiking shoe. Um, for a couple reasons. One, I, I don't know what I like. I've seen so many different people out there talk about uh, ultra lights, um, the hiking boots, uh, the middle of the road type shoes when it comes to hiking boots and runners. Um, so I got these. I got, actually got them from Academy Sport. They are a uh, high tech brand and I put them on and they're really comfortable. They're really light. So I think they're like a, a, a cross between like a hiking boot and like a, a runner type shoe. So um, they have good tread on the bottom, uh, which will help, uh, you know, climbing the rocks and stuff whenever I go hiking. Um, so I went ahead and got these. I got my wife a pair as well. So we shall see how they do. They were $44. So they weren't that expensive to where if they are not comfortable or obviously if they ruin my feet, I'm not gonna take them back and get my money back uh, and get something else. But I just wanted to try off something um, a little bit less expensive before I just dive in there and make such a huge purchase on a pair of shoes. Uh, these are waterproof as well, and um, they are dry tech waterproof, so we shall see how these work out. And of course I got like smaller things. Um, I have two headlamps. Um, I did get a Sawyer, um, a Sawyer Mini. It does screw on, and it's in a bag already, uh, it does screw onto a uh, smart water bottle so it's really lightweight um super small i don't know if it will adjust that just like knocked my adjustment out uh but yeah you just literally you screw it on like this and then pop the top and you're able to use it but it also comes with a bag um a straw uh, and uh, much a uh, couple other things so that way if you don't want to use it for your water bottle you have other ways of using it and two more things. I did purchase a food bag. This is just a Bluefield um, 20 liter food bag that I got off Amazon. It was like $8 um, and I already do have a bunch of food in it that I'll probably do another whole nother video on just on food. But uh, my dad actually has one of these. He said it was really good. So I just went ahead and got it um, this brand. So. I did get bright orange and many different colors, but I wanted to be able to see this in the mornings after I've been sleeping. And lastly, so, and I actually have it in a, a bag because it, I don't want to roll it up and stick it in my, I might roll it up and stick it in my backpack, I don't know. Um, but right now it's just free. Um, I didn't get a super warm sleeping bag because it's already March and uh, we're going at the end of March and obviously we have all of summer and it gets really hot in North Carolina. Um, so I didn't want to get like a, a zero degree bag and spend $200 and burn up all summer long. So I got a lighter one, um, a, I don't even know, uh, let's see here. It's just a, a Terra Hiker um, brand sleeping bag. It had really good reviews online. Um, it is the square kind. It's not a mummy kind. I'm kind of claustrophobic, so I didn't know if a mummy kind. I did get my wife a mummy bag um, that goes down to 35 degrees, and I think this is a 45 degree weather bag. Um, but the great thing about this is I can buy a, I think um, Coleman make it's like a fleece liner that you can just, it's $16 uh, to you know be warmer. And obviously if my wife doesn't come with me and I know it's going to be colder, I can take her bag instead of this one. Um, so I did get that for cookware. I, um, my dad actually gave me this. Uh, I have the Stanley cook set. Um, so it comes with the cook pot. It's just a deep pot. I think it holds, um, 20 ounces of water. I do have my fuel inside of it. Uh, and the thing is, is these things get hot, so my dad was really smart and cut me a little rubber piece so I'm able to grasp the handle and it's just a piece of rubber, lightweight, stick it inside. Um, so I have that. And then I have a much smaller 
that's able to be, uh, you know, over the flame as well uh, to cook in if I'm just cooking for myself. Um, or I can drink my coffee out of this as well. So this is a dual purpose as well. And it fits right into that. Slap this back on. Um, so I did get this from my dad. So, And it's not super, super heavy. It's heavier in my hand right now because my fuel's in it. But I didn't want to get this huge, you know, cook set and it just be heavy and not use it. Um, but that's basically it. Oh, one last thing that I did get. And, uh, men, if peeing in the woods grosses you out for women, then you may leave right now. But I'm going to show you. I am, uh, not the best at squatting and peeing. So, I did get a, uh, female urination, um, cup. It's a pitch and trek. And you literally just pee in it. And you can be standing up, and it's meant for things like this. So I did go ahead and get that as well. So that way I'm not trying to have to squat and pee all over my legs. And, I mean, you're already going to be dirty when you're camping and hiking, and there's no sense smelling like urine as well. So I did go ahead and get that. And other than that, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was a longer video, um, but I wanted to go through my gear. I'm going to go ahead and pack it up, and then I will show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so I have my pack on. I have it fully loaded. I believe this doesn't mess up the video. Um, it really hugs my body, so that's what I really like about this one. And then, as you can see, I got my tent stakes on that side. Um, I did pack my tent inside, so... Uh, <coughs> overall, I hope this bag works out. If not, REI has this really great policy that even if it's used within a year, you can take it back. Um, and they'll refund it, whatever, sell it at their garage sale and get you a new one. So we shall try this one out. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Uh, it probably will be a ration review since I'm doing a backpacking one. Um, I don't know when it will be. Uh, if not within the next week, I'll probably do another gear review of some smaller things that I got to go in my bag that I didn't show you today. So I hope you all have a great day, a great Saturday, and I will see you next time.